Hello everyone, and welcome back to Soul Stained Lake. Elizabeth is having some difficulties at the moment and will not be meeting with us today. But she's given me a stack of books that she's recently read and asked me to pick one to give you a book review. She's read The Magician's Nephew and The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. But I feel like you already know what my predictions for that would be. I predict most of you will enjoy it. She's read several of the stories from the Grimm's fairy tales. They're grim. She's also read The Wonderful Wizard of Oz with her wonderful daughter. I predict most of you know this story as well. The book that she's read that she has not spoken to you about and that I doubt many of you have heard of is this one. The Man Who Was Poe by Avi. Now, in reality, she read this on the first day of May for middle grade May. The toil and trouble at Thawne began on the second day of May. This book does not have witches. This book does not have magic. This book does have a main character who is one of the most well-known creeptastic authors of all time. Edgar Allan Poe. Now, I predict that you already knew it was going to talk about Edgar Allan Poe. The title says it all, really. However, Edgar Allan Poe was also the first man to be given the title of a detective author. He wrote what was the first detective novel or story with Auguste Dupin. In this book, he helps a young boy, tells the boy his name is Dupin. I predict that if you do not like slow-moving books, you will not like this book. I predict that if you do not like suspense, you will not like this book. And I predict that if you are over books written in the late 80s, you will definitely not like this book. However, if you enjoy books about twins, one of whom is trying to find the other, about lost mothers, about missing aunties, about kidnapping, family drama, and people who are not what they seem, then I predict that you would most definitely enjoy this book. Elizabeth, being the base creature that she is, gave it a three star. I bet you would enjoy it more than she did. I predict that if you find this book and read this book, that it will stay with you forever. Goodbye.